Okay guys, today I'm installing a clutch on the old Fox body. Uh, got parts from LMR. Got a rear main seal. Since I'm back there, might as well replace that. Of course, clutch cable. Adjustable one. Flywheel bolts. Uh, quadrant. I already have one of these on my car. I don't need this. Adjustable firewall clutch cable. Adjustable. Have one of these. I don't need this. Probably give this to my friend. I sell it to my friend. And bell housing boat. Also got a flywheel, billet, steel, and a spec two clutch. I was originally running a spec one. But I set step up to a spec two. So let's inspect the parts further and see what we got. Okay, just inspected everything. Everything looks good. Of course, this clutch, this is like a puck style clutch. This similar. And one thing about this type of clutch, if you're going to run this on your car, you want to make sure that you do not, I repeat, do not use your cast iron flywheel because those puck style clutch discs will chew up a uh, cast style flywheel. So you want to get a billet one. Uh, this is a billet light and this is a little bit lighter. It's not aluminum. Uh, aluminum ones are good for um, circle track, well, not circle track, but if you're going to autocross a road course, your car is good for that because you're going to always have momentum uh, with the engine. But on the street, you're going to stall it when you try to take off. If you don't mind stalling your car every now and then until you get used to it, go ahead, get it. Uh, release bearing alignment tool and what else we got okay we got the weights for the flywheel and this car has been upgraded to a ten and a half inch clutch disc so you want to make sure that um, you get the right size even if you um, if you do decide to upgrade yours to a ten and a half you're probably going to have to get a new flywheel because on the 10 inch when they use the shoulder bolts to align the clutch pressure plate on the 10 and a half they use uh, dials to align it so that's something to keep in mind uh, all right next thing let's get the battery disconnected on the car so we can get started oops almost forgot that is in the trunk on this thing So let's get that disconnected and then we'll move on. Okay, next we got the battery disconnected. What you want to do next is your gear selector uh, knob. You want to you want to screw that off, and then you want to remove this little um, cover here, which you can just pry this up with a pry tool. right out like so you want to remove you have four um, bolts it's one here it's one underneath there one I don't know if you guys can see this one underneath here and one here. Take those four bolts out then you can remove uh, the uh, transmission shifter boot then you'll be able to move the shifter um, out of the car. So let's get that stuff taken care of and we'll be back. 